Jeff, I'm so excited. You're always surprising me with new little hot spots. Here we are in your backyard, and I'm thrilled to find out where we're going today. I'm not going to tell you much, but we are going to go to the best Italian restaurant in La Mesa, and I can't wait to share it with you. Say no more, Jeff. Italian food, I am in heaven. Francesco, I walk in here and it transports me back to my college days, backpacking through Italy. Such fond memories, warm atmosphere. How did you leave such a beautiful place to come here? Tell me. I left the beautiful place because knowing the beautiful place is going to stay there. And, you know, and I came in Los Angeles in, uh, was in 1991. You know, I started to work in a place in Arlington Beach. You know, as a as a cook, chef, or whatever you want to call, you know, I'm not speaking English, you know, very well, but you know, I can go around. And the thick accent is wonderful, though. It brings I, the authenticity the to the it. restaurant. Yeah. Absolutely, it's good for the experience. Yeah. And after that, I got offered a job in uh, San Diego, and I moved in San Diego. And a few years later, you know, I got tired of to work for other people, and I start to look around to open my own business and. I founded this place in uh, East County, you know, which was a hole in the wall, I should say. And, you know, I, I chose the place and, you know, 19 years later, we're still here, you know, very strong and, you know, I'm happy. Well, you turned it into a beautiful place and I know you do get a lot of local here, as I'm assuming. Yeah, most of the business is from local people, you know, local, you know, meaning, you know, the Cedro and, you know, Alpine and, you know, but they, they the surrender area, but you know, people they bring friend and friend they bring friend and you know. If you ask a local around here and you say, hey, where's a great place to eat, good Italian food, a great restaurant with some ambiance, this is the place they talk about. Well, clear, if it's so busy, he does no advertising, the locals, the word of mouth, you love this place, yes. so that speaks volumes. We try to change the menu, you know, over the season, you know, like in fall and uh, summer and spring and winter. You know, we changed the menu about a few months ago. I'm about to change the menu again, you know, beginning of December. You know, we're gonna do, usually we live, we live in the menu, you know, the, the dishes, people, you know, people love it. And you know, they, it's the most, the best seller, I should say, you know, like this one, you know. Tell, tell us about it. This one is a, a, a boneless short ribs, and it's the, the technique we use, it's a braised. Uh, carrots, onions, and uh, uh, celery, red wine, uh, a lot of fresh herbs and uh, salt and pepper, you know, cover, stick it in the oven for a few hours, and, uh, you know, a lot of love, and that's the result. Well, I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks like you could just cut through that with a fork. No knife needed. I mean, it looks Not amazing. Yet. You want to try it? Oh, I will, I will, absolutely. And Jeff, you mentioned that this is one of your favorites coming here. Yeah, you can't, you can't, when you have an Italian restaurant that actually serves you something other than pasta and pizza, that's a real Italian restaurant, right? Yeah, like, like you, I was saying before, I'll, I'll try to be different, you know, from the others, not because, you know, it's not good, but, you know, people come to my place, you know, because, you know, we give a great, great food, great atmosphere, excellent service, and most of the people, they feel like, hey, on my way from home. Well, and I think most of the people agree with that. I saw an award as we walked in the front door that you received this year. Congratulations. Oh, it's, thank you. You know, I, I, I don't pay attention to the awards <laughs> because, you know, uh, the, the awards, they are my beautiful customers. You know, I, that's my big awards. And, you know, I love it when the people, you know, they finish to eat and they live with a smile on the face. And I say, I tell them always, if there is something wrong, just please, Tell us right now, uh, I can fix it, you know, I got a great team behind, uh, behind, the, behind me, you know, people in the kitchen, they've been working for me forever. Yeah, you mentioned you have a very loyal yeah. team, lots and, of years. you know, the kitchen, they've been working for me, you know, almost since when we opened. They're happy, I'm happy, and a, a great team, you know, we make sure, you know, we make people happy, you know, our patrons, because they are the most important. Can you tell us uh, how you got into the business and why, like what drove you to be a chef? I, I, you know, when I finished middle school, you know, I went to culinary school back home in Sism in Palermo. How and, old were you? Uh, 14. 14 years old yeah, in culinary in, school. In, in Italy, we started early, you know, after middle school, 
we go to high, uh, high school, which is you know, considered, you know, college. You know, in Italy, it's the college is the, the high school. And I started culinary school at 14, you know, I stayed there three years, you know. People say, you know, chef, chef, I don't consider myself a chef. I consider myself a food lover, you know. Is there a particular food that you brought from Sicily specifically that you serve here in this restaurant that is kind of close to your we, heart? I'm always happy when I cook seafood because uh -huh. I come from a, a small village and everybody's a fisherman or even own the fish business. So I grew up with seafood. I, lo I love your calamari and I always judge an Italian restaurant by the calamari and you serve the whole thing and it's fantastic. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. And I anticipate we that this salmon is going to be delicious if salmon, seafood is your specialty. Salmon, is, it's one of the best sellers on the menu, you know, with, uh, with the short ribs. But the menu, the menu goes, you know, very well. So we do, we do also some uh, gnocchi, homemade gnocchi, potato dumplings with the with the short ribs, you know, we chop it up and we use the same the same sauce that we, we top it up with cho, uh, with the uh, goat cheese. People love it and so then we have the, the classic, the lasagna, chicken parmigiana, pollo parmigiana, which we don't have in, in, in Italy, you know, we don't do, but, you know, like you gotta you gotta serve you gotta serve food that people love it, you know, your customer love it and, you know, even, even you know, I'm 100% Italian, and you, know, you gotta serve it to the people, you know, something they wanted. So Jeff, you mentioned you love this place, and I'm sure you have a lot of clients that also come here being local to the area. Yeah, I've got a lot of clients that do come here all the time. One in particular is gonna be selling their house pretty soon, and it's around the corner on Lakeshore. And for a food lover who's looking for a place to buy, this is the house. There's an organic, garden in the back, a vegetable garden. There's the largest outdoor kitchen I've ever seen. Wow. And they actually have grapes they brought back from Italy and uh, are growing in the backyard, some really nice table grapes. Sounds so any, like a chef's delight. It is, so anybody who likes to cook, who wants to be near a great restaurant like this one, they should reach out to me and I'll tell them all about it. Awesome, I can't wait to hear more about that and see the property. And Francesco, thank you so much for having us here. I'm very excited to taste this beautiful My dish, pleasure. and it's been such a pleasure learning more about you and your restaurant. Thank you. Thanks. I hope you enjoy the food, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much.